New tonight, we'll tell you why a brutal attack by vandals is making some Alberta politicians very nervous. Then, if your car isn't ready for winter, you will get a ticket. Calgary police are starting to crack down on vehicles not fit for winter driving. Plus, running with the spirit of Calgary, hundreds hit the pavement for a very good cause. Now, Global News at 11 with Ted Henley. Good evening. There are serious questions tonight after a suspicious attack on an office building. A Canadian Alliance campaign office in Edmonton was vandalized today. Its windows smashed and doors dented, causing thousands of dollars in damage. Some say the attack is a political statement. As Ramina Dea reports, local politicians say this is the worst act of vandalism they've ever seen targeting a political campaign. Instead of campaigning, Alliance candidate Tim Upple is cleaning up. Broken glass everywhere. Eight windows at the Southeast Edmonton campaign office are smashed. The motive, only the vandals know. Upper believes the party, not the building, was the target. And if there's one window, I would think it's just some random, you know, somebody angry or something and broke the window. This is just too much. Police found white powder at the scene, but don't know what was used to shatter the windows. There were no weapons found inside. The initial damage estimate, about $3,000. And then I can really feel how people have felt when it hits their homes. I mean, this we've been here for, you know, every day for hours on end. It's, it's, it's a personal attack is what it is. I was just uh, really sad. And um, in my 20 years of uh, life, political life. I've never seen anything like this. I've seen a couple signs vandalized. In the Edmonton Southeast riding, Upple's biggest rival is Liberal candidate David Kilgore. He's held the federal seat here for 21 years. Even though the latest global poll shows Kilgore trailing behind the Alliance candidate, he believes this latest attack had nothing to do with politics. Violence like that. Oh.